like, so, you know, the horror story I hear from people is like, oh, you shouldn't do it because you're for seven years, my credit's going to be ruined. What's the deal with that? Believe it or not, every one of my clients will get an avalanche of credit card offers almost the day after we file bankruptcy. They start happening. Um, I tell everyone, I'm married to a banker. I tell every one of my clients, save your credit card offers because at the end of this, I'm going to encourage them to get three credit cards. One for gas, one for groceries, one for when they go out to dinner. And that is how they're going to rebuild their credit. They're going to get car offers. Toyota will send a, it'll be a real check, $30,000 say, exchange this for your brand new Prius. I typically tell them avoid the car offers, but get three credit cards. Every time you charge something and pay it off in full, your credit score goes up. I never want my clients to carry a balance. I want them to uh, charge, pay off, build their credit. Two years after bankruptcy, uh, a bank will consider them for a home loan. So Bank of America, your traditional bank, two years after the discharge of your bankruptcy, you're eligible for a home loan. So why does on your credit for 10 years, it's, and why it will, it'll affect you, but not to the extent people think. I mean, you're almost immediately getting back into the system. And let's face it, we're a consumer-based economy. We make our economy works by people spending money. So that's why I believe all those credit card offers are out there. I believe they're probably financed by the government or at least backed by the government because it's encouraging people to rebuild. And then the same with the bank. Uh, hey, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. If everyone's paying 3% interest, two years after the bankruptcy, you're going to be in the high fives. That's the hidden cost of bankruptcy. Bite the bullet two years later, you know, yeah. refi and you're going to be better.